All right, guys. Welcome to back I'm to I'm looking birds. at this mummy dude. Whoever the fuck he is. Um. Yes, I'm your friend. I'm not scared. You're just creeping me out. I got a lot in the cellars. Yeah. Though I thought at first uh, I forgot those are not the brothers, but those are just some random guys. There are some parts in this whole area where like. There's some guys that will like come up to you and just start hitting you for no reason, and then Weird. and you have to like get away from them. They don't chase you; it's just that they'll linger around the area trying to hit you. Like if you, the thing like that with those psychotic brothers, also, like if you go and just walk up straight to them like a fucking idiot, they'll they'll kill you in one hit. You won't even be able to run away from them. They like stab you to death. With like a like a knife, the psychos. I fuck up. This guy creepily walking towards me just stares into my soul. Oh, I think this guy's cute. What? I was kidding. <laughs> it looks like my stepmom in the morning. That's fucked up. <laughs> That's fucked up. It was. A I joke. know. I know. That's fucked up. I remember me and my dad used to joke about that and saying that about like when we were watching horror movies. So I'd be like, "Yeah, it looks like her in the morning." You, you, your dad married her though. Yeah, I, their marriage is whatever. <laughs> oh, I'm an idiot. We were making jokes so much I was forgetting. Oh, I also make my Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> Sorry. Well, actually, first I want to see where you gotta go, and then I'll let you take over because. There are some guys that'll just attack you. Like that guy yeah, right there. I want to fucking know this thing. That guy in the prison saves. Oh shit, dude! Look on the ground. Go no, on the ground to your right. To your right. All right, now to your left. He you killed that guy. That guy in the jail cell just saved our lives because that guy was gonna kill us. Fucking. He like shoved him from his jail cell off of the edge and he died. How crazy is that shit? Uh, we, we got saved by another psycho. <laughs> yeah, you shouldn't turn that off right now. We need to keep that on. Wait, now where the fuck are you? Alright, it's telling you you gotta leap. So look in front of you. Press X. Yup. Right. There you go. I wouldn't stay around here though if I was you. I'm just going in circle. No, dude, go and look, explore shit. Look at. Go in those jail cells. You'll find batteries sometimes. You gotta look for stuff. Don't just go and look all over, like, walk. Yeah, good thing I tell oh, you. Oh, shit. No, that guy's just scared. Just let him leave him alone. Rudolph G. Wernick, Dr. Rudolph G. Wernick, age 90, passed away doing the work he loved on February 28, 2009. He was born in 1918 in Munich, Germany, and achieved fame in mathematic and scientific communities for a paper written with early commuting pioneer Alan Turing. After a cloudy history with the German war effort, he emigrated to the United States in 1949 with a visa from the State Department. Several decades of government research in Los Alamos led to New Mexico, where Dr. Wernick returned to pursue landscape photography and care for his cats. He came to Colorado shortly after the turn of the millennium to pursue charitable work for the Murkoff Corporation. A statement from the company calls Dr. Wernick a true humanitarian with a generous, uh, generous spirit. He leaves no survivors. Yeah, I don't know how it makes you generous if you don't leave any survivors. You just, like, kill everyone. You know. Um, yeah, that, I think, let me see, is that the only room? No. Yeah, you can't go in it. If it doesn't have the thing saying press square to open the door, it means you can't open it. It means it's locked. Um, go through there first, too. No, not through there. The, uh, the door to your left. Yep. Uh, I'm Blake the camera. Uh, turn the night vision. Yeah, you can't. Then you have to go up the stairs. That's what I thought it was. I was making sure there was nothing over there, like batteries or anything. Uh, yeah, I think there's a guy that like walks out of the cell around here somewhere, and he like just hits you for no reason. So let me take over for a bit. Cause I gotta look 
Or at least... Well, I, I don't need to. Look to your left. See if he's there. Go around here. Around here. Huh? Around here. Yep. Alright, yeah. Open up that... Can you open it? Yeah, you can open it. There's a battery in there. Grab it. Dude, did, wait, was that battery dying? Yeah. Alright, good. Alright, so that means this will be an extra battery. You can walk out of the room now. No. I want you wasting our batteries. Okay, I can't go that way, so... You know what's convenient, though? If you ran out of batteries and you die, you Everybody. default start with... That's oh, the guy shit. I was talking about. Just lean over. Huh? Yeah, like you are... No, dude, dude. Walk over. Walk over. Remember that little sidle thing like in Zelda? Yeah, I know. Oh, you do only... that, yeah. You have to do that. Okay. Well, anyway. Ah, oh, shit! Yeah, I know. Holy fuck! I, that, that really got me. I'm not even joking about that at the time. I know. That this game really fucking got me. This game scares the shit out of you. Well, if I'm playing it by myself, it will be. Um, yeah, turn on the, the camera again. I'm to... Wait, I'm in the cell now? Yeah, you're just automatically in a cell. Here. Um, wait, let me see something. Stop moving around so much, I'm trying to see. Oh, right there. Gotta crouch. Okay. Because there's no way around there, that's why. So now you're on the other side. Door turning. But anyway, no, look, look behind you. Look behind you. Is there any batteries or anything? Mm, nope, then walk out then. But anyway, if you die, and you ran out of batteries before you died, it default automatically just restarts you, starts you off with two batteries and continues you right where you left off before you died. Mm -hmm. Like, th at that last save point. Like, you'll just keep getting two batteries back. Alright, before you go down there, go to your left and see if there's anything here. Nothing? Go back, uh, get out? No, okay. Okay, I think for sure. To your right? Is there anything there? Yeah, there's another cell. Yep, battery. Good battery. thing. See, that's why you gotta look, man. You gotta find batteries and shit. You gotta save as much battery as you can. Now, go back into that room where you saw the hole in the ground. That's two rooms over. Yep, right here. That's where you gotta go. I hated this fucking part. Hello, Mr. Wallrider. Don't wanna go there. You gotta. Which way? Think that way. If not, just wait. No. No, no. The word Wall Rider is all over this place. Murkoff is running an experiment here called Project Wall Rider, but the patients talk about the Wall Rider like it's a physical presence. A spirit or demon. Something they found in the mountain. I'd chalk it up to a schizophrenic delusion, but I just saw something. Maybe. Maybe it was a glitch in the camera, or maybe this place is getting to me. Yep, so you see Wall Rider all over the place. Alright, hold on. Can you move? Wait, can I see something? Is this even supposed to be where you have to go, or...? I'm thinking, I don't have to go there, or go the other side. Uh, yeah, you do have to go this way. So go back the other way and see if there's anything we missed. The other side of the stairs we were at. Yeah, no, I got it. Yeah, it was to sublock D, I think it said. No, you're gonna need the camera. Alright, move it around. There's a room right here. Can you go in it? No. Alright, can All you right, turn? Can... Turn around? Wait, wait, you press. Stop moving around so much. I'm trying to read. It said press square to something. I don't know, I'm trying to figure it out. Move it down to the left, like, come on. Oh, it's, that's it's the lockers. So yeah. Alright, so that's just a hiding room. Alright, never mind. Let's get out of here. See, that's why you always gotta check to see if there's anything around. Like documents, uh, batteries. That's mostly what you look for when you have batteries. Though, also, documents are important. I, I think there's a battery around here. Um, so... No. I think it's around here. No, dude, stop doing that. On the floor, the batteries are right, now. right there, right there, yep. I told you I knew there was a battery around here. Nice, now we got three batteries. Alright, so, which is basically four batteries because basically you I can't go get anywhere. a zero one. No, go back to the. I don't want to go back to the. Yeah, you have to go under there. 
you go under the sewers. Crouch. Oh my god, this, this, this looks exactly like my, my um, crawl space at home. Yeah. I've been under there. This is really cool. I didn't even know he had a crawl space there. My dad's house has one too. He has like a little cellar under the house. And it's like a, like a dirt okay, area. It's not outside. this deep, though, but it's still fucking. Wait, can I get up that way? Can you? Can you? No, no you can't. No. Okay. Why would you? <laughs> I guess, of course not. This eerie music is really getting to me. Alright. Uh, crouch? I mean, well, actually, you don't have to crouch anymore. Unless you're going into hiding holes to hide from the walker. Christopher Walker, gotta, because gotta, this is... Here. Yeah, this is another chase scene coming up, so I think I should do this. No, I want to see this. I want to do this so I can like, not get caught. Alright, but run back under a hole or there whenever you... Don't just run around like an idiot. Oh, no, I'm just you have to be stealthy because this is good. this is another down. objective where Chris Walker's stalking you. I think there's a battery right there. There is none. I know there isn't an area like that somewhere. Huh. Is it right here? Somewhere? Look up. To your left? That's right. To your left? No? Nope. I know there is on a side area like that somewhere. Well, I'm gonna go back here one second and make sure. Yeah. I know what I'm doing. Right. Yep. No, you just came from that way. Um. Yeah, you, well, this way, yeah. No. That's right, I gotta go up the way. Alright, so go that way. Check to see what's over here. Oh, um, wait, wait, wait. I don't see anything. Huh. I'm not here, I guess, so I have to keep going for it. Not bad, I'm gonna go like this one. Alright. Yeah, because I know there isn't an area like that. I guess it's not over here. But, uh, otherwise you would just see it glowing in the dark. Um, yeah, this is gonna be an annoying scene where you have to hide and find two valves. Remember earlier with that guy in the water area? Yes. With that we played in episode 2? It's gonna be like that, but it's gonna be a bigger area. Hello, Mr. Wallrider, again. Okay. Yeah, that's the Wallrider I told you about. I'm not bad at anything here, I guess. I don't see anything, I'm just gonna show off my camera for now. Uh, you kinda need it if you're gonna go over here. No, I mean, like, I'm shutting off the, the night vision for now. Alright. Okay, that's. Okay. Oh, document. Grab that shit. Yo, grab it. Found scrawled in pencil on the back of an admittance form. Handwriting matches samples from patient Father Martin Arkambod. This god is real. What we've mistaken so long for ghosts, spirits, madness. We were only willfully ignorant. The scales on Saul's eyes were fear, and when you see beyond it, you truly see. This is the gift of the Wall Rider, the Gospel of Sand. That's his nickname, also. People call him that. This is the gift of the Wall Rider, the Gospels. Oh, I just wrote that. The greatest sin in the world is willful ignorance of God. To receive a revelation and not spread it to the waiting flock. This place, to stand in the way of salvation, is a sin for which there is no punishment too great. Whatever that means. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, there's like blatant rain splattered all over. Alright, so be very mindful. Wait, turn to the right. Alright, move it to the left. Dude, you're moving too fast. Come on. Stop what? it with that. Because you gotta look. I am looking. Yeah, past that space there is when Chris Walker's gonna start chasing. Like, when you go beyond there. And, uh. I don't have to go the other ways? Mm, you can, but they don't really lead anywhere. Alright. Yeah, so that's your safe zone when you run past there. This saves here, because this is when he starts coming out and flush the water by turning in two valves. That's what I told you. You turn the two valves, you go back there because that ladder, you go down that hole. And then that's where we go. So where are the two valves? They're through two ways. Shit. Dude. What? What are you doing? What? 
Don't just stand there, run. I'm running back. Yeah, you gotta hide from him. You can't just like stand around when you see him coming. You gotta like crouch and hide and shit. Like I've been doing. He, you're, you're safe from him now, he can't get to you. Yeah. I don't know if that leads anywhere though, but try, try it. I always forget in these sewers, like certain parts, because the sewers are huge. They're kind of like the sewers in the Sick of Truth. They're very huge. That's just a dead guy. Um, wait, 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 wait. Stay there. I thought there was a battery right there. That's not. Yeah, I think I went to the floor already. Should I go back? No, you didn't. Where the fuck is he going? I don't know. Okay, this is very fucking confusing. Yeah, the sewers are a very confusing part. Yeah, go back the way you were though, um, for when you was one chasing me. One second. Ah, oh, where are you doing? Okay. okay. Alright, so at least right now we're safe, but you have to go back to the area, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, you have to go back into the death trap. Because there's two valves, and I know exactly where they are. So I think I should do this next mission before you get us killed numerous times. I'm not gonna get you killed, don't worry. How long is this so far? Okay. Yeah, we should stop it here. Mm. Yeah, let's stop it right here. No, we still got one of the time. Because I don't want the episode being like over 20 minutes every episode. I want to be to be around 20 minutes, but not over 20 minutes. It's not, it's not gonna be over 20 minutes. I think he's barging into something. You can also hide in those little holes there, whenever he's chasing you. Go through that one right there to your left. Don't run the whole time though, because that will also catch his attention. If you hear him with his chains around, that's how you know it's him, then just freaking run the fuck away and hide. Like, right under there. Yeah, go through that door, quick. Go in there. Run. Close the door. Turn the valve. Right in front of you. And then hide in the locker to your left, because he'll come in here. Come on, I turn it. I gotta, I gotta see what the fuck he's hitting. Well, he's gonna kill you, and we're gonna have to restart this again. Alright, guys, I'm gonna end it right here, so like, comment, subscribe, please follow our Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook in the description below, and come back for another grueling episode of Outlast. Alright, next episode's my turn.